It's a great honour for the museum to have actually acquired gold award status. And for me, it's like a real indicator that we're doing the best that we possibly can to kind of work with our veterans and help our military communities. We couldn't have achieved gold award status without our team. And quite honestly, I would wholeheartedly advocate for having members of the armed forces as part of a working team. It's been an absolute joy at the museum to see what our military staff members bring to the team and how they work with our other team members to help them generate an understanding of the armed forces as well. It's a really special part of what we do and they make every visit to the museum so special for the public. So I wholeheartedly recommend employing members of the armed forces community. We really see our role as a regimental museum to build a bridge between military and civilian communities. So we're really here to help people understand what it is it means to be a member of the armed forces and what those contributions to the country actually are. So one of our big objectives with the museum when we develop it is to actually incorporate those stories of military wives and families into the interpretation of the regiment as well. Um, but also our education programme looks at working with things like cadet groups and um, other armed forces groups where we, we can bring them in, give them a background to the history of the regiments that they can actually use in their day-to-day -day practice as well. So looking forward to the future, we just hope to really kind of narrow the gap between the military and civilian communities and really just help celebrate their stories for a long-term legacy and for future generations.